something following us. There's nothing out there. It's your imagination. I don't think so. Aren't there supposed to be bears or something around here? No. Besides, they're more frightened of us than we are of them. Don't be too sure. Come on, I want to get there before dark. Hey, I've got an idea. I know the way as well as you do. Why not let me go first? If it'll make you feel better, be my guest. It will. Say something, honey? time this week, we have another three-stage smog alert. The air in the Los Angeles basin is unfit to breathe. Now, let's check the traffic. 
Hollywood Freeway northbound south of Alvarado, an accident in the clearing stages with no details. Ventura Freeway eastbound at Van Nuys off ramp, an accident working. Use Woodman to get around that problem. San Diego Freeway over the pass is open but moving slowly. Now let's go downtown and check in with one of the nicest guys in the highway patrol, Officer Ed Giza. Ed? Well, thank you and good afternoon, Harry. And I'm sure glad we're inside and not out on those freeways. It's busy this afternoon. An uninjury accident just reported, San Diego southbound of Barranca. A car and a truck involved in some kind of minor altercation. Once past that problem, though, traffic picks up to 25 miles per hour. And this one just reported, westbound Ventura, east of White Oak, another fender bender. They get some music on that thing. Freeway has a bad... Another slammer. And I can't take this anymore. I gotta get out of here. I'm going nuts. Yeah, I know what you mean. And all this smog, this heat. Two hours to go 20 miles. This is ridiculous. Come you know? on, Charlie. Just take it easy. Look at all these clowns. They're all crazy. Hey, I'm surrounded by insanity. You know something, Charlie? I think you need a vacation. Why don't we go camping? I got a place that nobody goes. And why not? Because they don't know about it. Look, I don't know, Steve. Now, come on in. Do you some good. Why don't you, uh, why don't you ask your jailer? Maybe she'll let you go. <laughs> yeah, she'll let me go. She'll be glad to get rid of me. Yeah, mine too. You know, we haven't been getting along too well lately. We, uh, we've been discussing divorce. I'm sorry to hear that, Steve. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Hey, look, I'll tell you what. Why don't you come over to the house tonight and, uh, we'll cook up, we'll cook up some steaks. What do you say? Well, that sounds good. You bring the steaks? <laughs> <laughs> So you guys want to go camping? And without us? Well, uh, we'd invite you along, but we kind of doubt if you could take it. Uh, well, it just might interest you to know that we could take it a lot better than you two over-the-hill boys. I doubt that. Oh, yeah? Well, as a matter of fact, we were thinking of going camping ourselves. <laughs> Yourselves? <laughs> you mean alone? <laughs> <laughs> what is so funny about that? <gasps> Nothing. It's just that, uh... You couldn't do it. The first coyote howling will send you running for home. Is that a fact? That's a fact. <laughs> Listen, we're not talking about Winnebago camping here. We're talking about roughing it. Yeah, you know, backpacking. Big deal. Yeah, who couldn't do that? You couldn't. Oh, it just might interest you to know that I was backpacking a long time before I met you. Listen, honey, the only backpacking you ever did was in bed. <laughs> just what is that supposed to mean? Nothing. It just means that you couldn't do it. Right, Steve? <laughs> Whatever you say. What do you know about it? A lot more than you. As I remember, you got us lost many times. Twice! Twice! Twice in the same day. Well, I got us there, didn't I? Barely. And who fell in the river and almost drowned? I just wanted to go for a swim. <laughs> With your clothes on? <laughs> <laughs> I think I better check on the dinner. Somebody has to. Just when were you men thinking of going camping anyway? Next week, huh, Steve? That's right. Oh, isn't that a coincidence? That's when we were planning to go. Without us? Mm-hmm. That's right, Big Mouth. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we all go camping together? It might even be fun. Mm -mm. Mm. Not a chance. I am not going camping with him. Why not? Because he's a male chauvinist. And proud of it. Now, listen, all kidding aside, this could be very dangerous by yourself. Uh, 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 typical male trick. You know, whenever you guys don't want us to go somewhere or do something, you, you always say it might be dangerous or risky, just like there are bears or wolves or rapists out there. Rapists? <laughs> rapists. Yes, rapists. You see, they sneak up behind you. They grab you and drag you into the woods. 
and then they had their way with you. <laughs> More than you're gonna have. Get your hands off of me. Anyway, it's out of the question. Come on, I really don't want you to go alone. I am not going alone. I'm going with Sharon. You know what I mean. Look, we'll be all right. Besides, you guys are coming up next week anyway. What if you get lost or hurt? We won't. Besides, Sharon has been up there a lot of times. Just a couple. Now, why don't you wait a few days for us? I can't. Why not? I don't know. I guess I have something to prove. You do know where we're going to be, don't you? Sure. The place we always used to go, our own special little spot. Why don't you come up tonight? Be like old times. When we were happy. Do you really think so? Maybe. Worth a try. Oh, honey, it's worth more than that. We'll be up tonight. You can bet on that. Well, guess it's time to go. Guess so. Remember, tonight, you promise. I love you. Oh, honey, I love you. We're going to be there. Know where they're going? Yeah. Let's get started. All right, look, I'm almost packed. Why don't you pick me up in 10 minutes? You got a deal. All right. Teddy, why didn't we wait for them? I'm not sure, really. But I think it had something to do with that arrogant, macho attitude of his. Oh, I see. As compared to our independent, self-sufficient one. Mm-hmm. I guess that's about it. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. Me too. really been backpacking? No. But it's easy. It is? How do you know? I read the book. Have you? What, read the book? No. <laughs> been camping. Only with Steve. Well, another three hours, we can lose this freeway. I can't wait. I've seen enough freeways to last a lifetime. Yeah, I know what you mean. Shit, look at that, Steve. Oh, hell. I think you need some water. I better get off at the next exit. Yeah, okay. Damn it! You do know exactly where we're going, don't you? I think so. More important, do they know where we're going to be? I certainly hope so. You think they'll come up tonight? They better. I, um, thought we were going to go it alone. Next time.
Yep. Don't went through the radiator, all right. And how much is that going to cost? And how long to fix? Not too long. Not too much. sure about this? Sure, I'm sure. Come on. Oh, it's beautiful out here. There's usually other cars around here. Other hikers. I wonder why. What does it matter? More room for us. Come on, Sharon. It's gonna be fun. Looking for somebody? Only Steve. Maybe they decided not to come up until tomorrow. Don't say that. Anyway, let's get started. Run with the gear. Forty bucks to plug a stinking radiator and four hours to fix it. Are you sure this is the way? Pretty sure. How much further is it? I don't know. A couple hours. Whose dumb idea was this anyway? I wonder.
tent. Where is it? I think you got it. Well, there it is. It's gonna rain before we can do this now. Terrific. <laughs> oh, shit. The sun's almost down. Hey, don't worry. They'll be all right. Yeah, I hope so. You know, it looks like rain, too. You kidding me? It never rains in California? Yeah, maybe not. But I'll tell you one thing. It's going to be dark in about an hour. Yeah, I know. Say, you know how to get to this place at night? I don't know. I'm going to give it my best shot. Well, which, way do, which way do you suggest? Why don't you try following me? All right. Boys going back in there tonight? Yeah, why? Kind of late, ain't it? Well, yeah, a little. You know where you're going? Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I hope so. Well, be careful. You know, over the years, there's been some people ain't come back from in there. Why not? Who knows? Fell off a cliff, drowned. The only strange thing is, they're still missing. We never even found their body. It's, uh, pretty weird, isn't it? How long will you be gone? I don't know, uh, what, five, six days? Why? We like to know these things. I'll check back in a week. You boys have a good time. Oh, say, listen, uh, you didn't happen to see the owner of that car, did you? Nope. Just got here myself. Be careful. Yeah, thank you. There's nothing to fear. People do disappear, but where do they hide? In the dark side of the forest. Now don't you get lost, keep watching. Watch. You'll have to pay the cost, because many have died in the dark side hey, of hey, the hey, forest. Hey, 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 watch it. Oops, I'm sorry, boss. Do you go and come again? And to where you've already been. You coming? Yes, you have. Is there a fee for what you do? Who will you give your eye over you? In the dark side, in the dark side. This don't look like any damn trail to me. Yeah. Will you want to leave? Come on, it's getting late. Ah, uh, shit. In the dark side of the forest. Hey, hey, are you sure it's okay? Look, I know I've seen this place a hundred times. Look, already. what do you want from me? It was your damn car that died. I know, I know. And besides, whose idea was it for this stupid camping trip anyway? All right, all right. All right, all right. You're sweet on, Daniel Boone. You know, this isn't half bad. Yeah, but I wish Steve and Charlie were here. Who needs them? Oh. I do. It's getting scary out here.
that? You never knew her. I knew all your friends. Not this one. She was from before. Before what? You know the last time. Oh. I wish the men were here. Yeah. I hate to admit it, but me too. <laughs> Mother, I told you we better go. Be quiet. My children will be beaten. Have you seen my children? Charlie, I think we're lost. Come on, Steve. How can you be lost? Well, things look different at night, all right? Let's go this way. was looking for you. We saw mother. And two pretty ladies. You promised you would tell. Where? Where did you see them? You promised. Down by the river. Dream. 
it was them. Daddy's coming. Daddy's coming. What does that mean? I don't know, but I'm going to do it. Do what? Why? Sheriff, Sharon! Get a hold of yourself. It's only a dream. There was no dream. Look at me, Sharon, look at me. We've got a hide.
Okay, Steve. Where the hell are we now? We well, see, Charlie. We're headed east. And east just happens to be the direction of the campsite. How's that? Shit, now what? I don't know. I guess we'd better move on. Come on. Well, what do you think? At least it's dry. Maybe we ought to hole up here until morning. Maybe you're right. Come on, you think you can find your way tomorrow? A hell of a lot better than tonight. Come on. Hey, it's kind of spooky in here, huh? Hey, Charlie, what the hell do you make of that? It looks like a light. Yeah, it sure does. But that doesn't make any sense. So nothing about this trip makes any sense. Come on, let's see where it comes from. Oh, wait a minute, that's not a good idea. Why not? It's probably just a couple of campers that caught in the rain like us. Well, whatever you say, Steve. Go ahead, lead on. You've been doing pretty good so far. Don't look like campers, does it? You admit that? Well, what do you think? Should we knock? Hey, maybe nobody's home, huh? No, 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 hold it. There's something cooking on the stove over there. It sure smells, smells funny. funny. I wonder what it is. Beats me. You're the cook. If only since I married Teddy. You shouldn't be here. If Daddy sees you, he will be angry. Oh, well, we just uh, wanted to come in out of the rain, that's all. Where is your father? Standing behind you. Hello. Welcome. Thanks. It's kind of wet out there. <laughs> yes, it is. I was just fixing myself something to eat. Would you care to join me? Oh, no thanks. Nothing for me. I... Well, what about you, Charlie? Sure, why not? Well, say, what about the kids? What kids? Well, the two kids over. Where'd they go? I don't know. Are they yours? Yeah. They were mine. I would offer you a chair, but I seldom have visitors. <laughs> well, that's okay. We'll just sit on the ground. Do you live here? Yes. Alone? Yes. Well, what about the children? They only come to visit. But I thought they were yours. They stay with their mother. Have you been living here long? Yes. At least longer than I wanted to. If you have a knife, you can join me. Oh, no, thanks. I'm uh, not hungry. If you don't have a knife, you can use mine. Oh, no, it's not that. I, I have a knife. I'm just not hungry. What about you, Charlie? 
<laughs> Just a little piece, if you don't mind. It's pretty good. What is it? It's a dough. A little old, but tasty. Aren't they out of season? They're always in season when you're hungry. Charlie, what's the matter? I just got a chill. How'd you come to be living here? That's a long story. I'd like to tell somebody, though. Would you listen? Sure, why not? We don't have anything else to do. It all happened a long time ago. Or at least I think it was a long time ago. Are either of you married? We both are. I used to be married. Had a wife and the two kids. I was a happy man. Or at least I thought I was. And then everything changed. It seemed every time I came home there'd be somebody there. A salesman, a repairman, <sighs> sometimes it was even delivery boys. I didn't think too much about it at first. Then one day I got sick and I came home early. so early. Well, I suppose you're wondering who this is. <laughs> this is Carl. He's come to fix the um, water heater. Refrigerator. Oh, was it the refrigerator? <laughs> yeah. Where are the kids? Why did you do this? Well, they like to play in there. You children run out in the yard and play, okay? Yeah, well, I, I better go along and fix the water here. Uh, refrigerator. Well, what'd you expect me to do? You're practically impotent. I'm only surprised you didn't figure it out long ago. All those men. <laughs> they weren't here on business. They were my lovers. They gave me something you never could. Yeah. <laughs> Well, 
Well, then what happened? What'd you do? I did what any man would have done. What? Nothing. I didn't do anything at all. We must leave this horrible place. Story of his? 
Nah, I think he's making it up. No, I'm not so sure. I'll tell you one thing, though. If it is true, I don't believe he did nothing. What do you think he did? Well, what do you think? Living here alone? Shit, are you serious? Ah, I don't know. Probably not. Let's get some sleep. Are you kidding? I'm not going to sleep. What if he is a murderer? Come on, Steve. Don't go to sleep. Don't worry. I doubt if I can. But what do you think we should do? Stay here. What else can we do? Well, but I'm sure not going to sleep. All right. Let's take turns. You sleep first. Well, why me? Why not? I'm not tired. All right, then I'll sleep first. Good morning. Morning. I thought you might like to be leaving. Yeah. Yeah, we would. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Turn, wake up. I thought you said you were going to stay awake. I thought so, too. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Uh, my sentiments, exactly. Say, Champ, do you find your way now? Piece of cake, my boy. Piece of cake. Come on. I wonder where the hell it can be. Fishing, hiking, look, I don't know. Now, look, look, I don't like the looks of this. You know, first those two little kids, then that old man, and now an empty campsite. Are you sure this is the place? Charlie, of course I'm sure it's the site. Look, this is their tent, it's their sleeping bag. All right, look, I got my... Let's look down the river, okay? You take it up, I'll go. All right. Hey, Charlie, I'll meet you back here in an hour. Campsite, see if the girls are there. 
If not, you know something? I think we ought to ask that old man. Maybe he saw him. Good idea. Come on. Let's go. Hey, Charlie, come here a minute. Okay, tell me, what do you make of that? It's wet dirt. Sometimes they call it mud. Yeah. yeah I guess you're right. You know, it's real strange, though. It's, uh, it's really sticky. Come on, let's go see that old man. I got a feeling about him. here? I guess not. You know something, Charlie? I don't like the feel of this at all. Me neither. Now let's get out of here. All right. Help me. Then you must hide. Daddy will soon be here. He knows where you are. <laughs> here he comes now. Run and hide over there. There are some large rocks and some caves. Alright. Or Daddy will eat you. I think it's time we went for the authorities. Come on, Steve, we may be jumping to conclusions. For all we know, they're out walking. Oh, come on, you don't really believe that. I don't know what to believe. All I know is it's a six-hour hike back to the car. Now, what is that supposed to mean? Look, it means we won't be able to get there till after dark. So what? Remember how we got lost on the way in? Are you saying we're supposed to just stay here? Look, I don't know what I'm saying. Look, Steve, there's, there's probably nothing wrong. They're probably out there hiking or, or... Or what? Or what? That's what worries me. All right, then I think we ought to go back. And what if the girls show up? Are we to leave them here alone again? So are we supposed to stay here and do nothing? Hey, Charlie, look. Look, I'm sorry, all right? Well, what do you suggest? Simple. One goes and one stays. Oh, no, look, I don't know about splitting up. That's usually not a good idea. Well, this is an unusual situation. 
All right, then. Who goes and who stays? Well, obviously, you've got to go. You're the only one that knows his way back to the car. Okay, Charlie, look. I'll tell you what, let's take one more quick look around the campsite. If we're still in the same situation, then... All right, I'll go. I don't know what else to do. Careful, will you? Hey, you too. Now look, don't you fall asleep again, all right? Yeah, I couldn't fall asleep if my life depended on it. Yeah, well, I hope it doesn't. I'll see you later. Take care of yourself. Hey, hurry up, will you? Hey, you got your knife? You better believe it. Are you? I'm John Jr. And I'm Jennifer. We were named after our parents. Well, I mean, where do you come from? We stay here. Here where? Just here, in the woods. By yourself? Mostly. But sometimes we visit our father. Where's your mother? We don't like her. She was mean. Was? She's dead. Daddy killed her. Killed her? Why? Because she was a bad mommy. She used to beat us and lock us in the closet. Even now she's trying to punish us. She keeps looking for us. And we always hide. Are both of you dead as well? Yes, of course. Sorry. It's okay. It's better than being alive. Being alive is so sad. How did you die? We killed ourselves. Killed yourselves? Yes. Oh, my God. 
We were so unhappy. Living alone in the cave with Daddy. Then we got sick and didn't want to live anymore. So we died. How horrible your life must have been. Daddy was very sad when we died. He went crazy. Been crazy ever since. Maybe next time things will be better. Next time? one's where? You don't know? Can you take me to the camp? Don't you know where it is? I'm lost. We'll show you. Follow. We must go on. Goodbye. No, don't go, please. How can she hurt you if you're dead? Have you seen my children? No. What children? When you see them, send them home. They are not and must be punished.
matter with you, man? Are you crazy? Crazy? Of course I am. We're all crazy. Winter's coming. I gotta have food. That's all. It was a dough. A little old, but tasty. Another one? Who? Where? At your campsite. Daddy, Daddy almost lost it. It was his toughest one. Take me there quickly. Okay, follow us. Charlie. Help me. Oh, no. <gasps> Daddy, no! She's my friend from before. That doesn't matter. But, but she, she doesn't, doesn't want, want to die. They never do. If you have her, we'll go without you. We need it, Daddy. Daddy. We'll leave you here all by yourself. Don't. Don't threaten your father that way. You're not my yeah. father anymore. Remember, Remember we're, we're dead. dead. Now you let it go, or you'll be alone here forever. forever. I wish your mother was here. <laughs> Damn it. 
see you again. Hey, those kids again. Hello. Hello. Thank you. We've come to say goodbye. Goodbye? Where are you going? We don't know yet. We are only waiting for Daddy. Daddy? But isn't that Daddy? That's him. Oh, my God, Sharon. Sharon, where's Charlie? Oh, God. <laughs> How about Teddy? <laughs> Mother's coming, John. We, we must, must go, go now. She's, She's not allowed to join us yet. Why not? We don't, we don't know. know. But I think we will be Not too soon, I hope. Goodbye. Bye. What do you want? My, My children. children. They're gone. For good. I don't, don't believe, believe you. you. Nevertheless, they aren't here. Eternity 
heart Which is which Day and night turn inside out And in the chaos the demons shout Where the shadows burn Heaven and hell